Hi YouTube channel, welcome back. So someone asked me to suggest to those who are interested on how to stay young. First of all, thank you for asking me that kind of advice, but I don't think that I look any younger than my age, but I do have to confess that first thing that I do every time is always looking at the bright side of life. That is my number one philosophy in life. Always looking at why it happens the way it happens. What is it that you can learn from it? Surrender, go through it one day at a time, never rush, never hurry, never complain, never feeling sorry for yourself, never play a victim and always take it as a challenge that out of this predicament that you are in, there is something good behind it that you will come out on the other side with more knowledge, more enriched with your views on life, expanding the horizon of your, of your world. So that is number one tip that I could share with you. Because I've always been like that. Always have been. Is that an innate thing? Am I born with it? I don't know. But that's what I would suggest people to do. So I lost track of what I was sharing here with you just now because my housekeeper came upstairs here on the balcony and I just had to uh, switch it off and talk some things about what I did today because I went out to the mall just to pay electricity, had to cash some money and then uh, paid by uh, ATM as well. So I did that for the electricity and then I just had this, uh, yeah, uh, normal lunch. But the restaurants here, oh my God, are a lot, a lot of restaurants. I mean, one thing about Italy, if you go to a restaurant, you know this is an Italian restaurant. Or if you go to a Chinese restaurant, it's a Chinese restaurant. If you go to a Japanese restaurant, it's a Japanese restaurant. Here, I'm talking about the, the, the medium range restaurant. They have everything in one restaurant. For example, I had a, um, Thai chicken for lunch, but then I felt also like French fries. They have French fries. I could have ordered Indonesian ice fruits, they have. I could have ordered the buffalo wings, they have. So that just goes to show you that in Indonesia, food from all over the world is everywhere here. Oh, not to mention the Indonesian food. Oh my God. Okay, so that's it. Now I think I'm back to the track of my uh, subject in the previous segment about staying young right okay let me start again with a new segment so first of all I'm not a teacher so I wouldn't like to be perceived as someone who is giving a lecture in how to stay young or how to be like me because I'm just a normal 
average lady. I would accept the suggestion by a friend here that I should share the tips of how to stay young. Okay, besides the views that you have to take in life every time and that is to always be positive. Of course, we have our downsides of life because that is part of living. But take it always as a challenge. Take it always as a learning experience. Always look at it from the positive side of it, positive aspect of it. I know it's easier said and done. You know, my late husband used to say, always be positive. I know that's what you're going to say to me. He teased me. And yes, that's what I used to tell him because I don't know, maybe because of his background or maybe because of his culture, uh, the, the idea of always looking at the dark side first is how they operate there in Italy. I don't know because they maybe like to sh demonstrate that they're humble. I have no idea because to say they're humble, I don't think so because they always think Italians are the best in the world. That's why they have their own world. They are wrapped up by their own world that they don't know what's happening outside of their country because they feel like they're superior that any other countries. Uh, um, uh, culture or, 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 or advancement, they refuse to learn because for them, why should we when we are superior? Which is wrong in my humble opinion. So my husband always looked at the dark side of life every time when there was no, uh, nothing to complain he would invent something to complain about. So then I resign. I resign myself by telling myself that I'm not going to uh, adapt that uh, way of thinking and that aspect of life. I'm going to stick to my own philosophy in life. And that is to stay grateful with whatever you're blessed with and to always look forward to something exciting, look forward to something something beautiful, something wonderful. And that's what I've been doing since I was a little girl. So I have a feeling that maybe it is innate. It's nothing to do with me having to be like that because I am like that. Therefore, uh, that is my number one tip, if I could give you tip. Okay, second. Second tip is take care of yourself. Um, don't let yourself go, even though, again, I must confess to you that, yes, there was a time when I let myself go. Not, I, did, I cannot give fault to myself alone, all right? I had an Italian husband, so the first thing he wanted me to do is to always go to the restaurant with him. And what do we do, do in the restaurant? He always wanted us to order from the antipasti, which, which is the appetizer, up to the dessert. And when he was courting me, he used to do, do that almost every day. And even lunch and dinner until there was a time when we just had to stop going for lunch or we went for lunch or for dinner. Then dinner every day. And then we stopped three times a week, then twice a week, then, then in the end once a week. But in the meantime, after I got to know him, I put on 10 kilos. Oh my God, I put on 10 kilos and on and off because as long as I was living with him, food was number one. Food was an enjoyment, was a celebration to be together with others and just enjoy, which I miss so much now because I am surrounded by people that love food, but as a, as a, as a, as just a passing enjoyment, not an, a daily enjoyment, not a daily celebration. So, 
what did I do? I just tried to find myself, you know, information to learn on how to take good care of myself. And that is by maybe, you know, eating the right food, not necessarily strictly to always having to stick to one diet. No, I, I tried the, the Dr. Atkins diet. Uh, oh, and then also I don't eat meat because I forget to eat meat, not because I don't want to eat meat, I forget to eat meat. So, uh, but then I do eat meat. It's not like I'm strictly vegetarian. I do eat meat. If there's meat, if there's steak, if there's something that I like which comes in meat or chicken, I eat it. I eat fish. But I forget about it if it's not there, you see? So that is another uh, tip. And then another tip, because I lost count now, another tip is just eat a lot of vegetables, eat a lot of fruits, even though I'm actually a little bit allergic to fruits, since uh, I don't know why I cannot um, eat too much fruit every day. So you just have to uh, know your own body, your own metabolism. You can try diet, see how long, uh, uh, you, how, how much it can uh, affect you um, positively or how much it can, uh, you can uh, obtain your goal on that, on that diet. And if it's not according to how you expect it, then you stop. Because I've been there, done that. Herbalife, I was a supervisor of Herbalife. It was really, really good. But then little did I know that my body also needed some food, even though, yes, when I mean, you are on Herbalife, you take this uh, protein uh, powder with all those uh, uh, natural vitamins and guarana, the tea, which gives you a natural energy. And then, um, all those other uh, concoction of, of vitamins, they were really, really excellent for me. I loved it. I really, really loved it. But then I forgot also that, that, that my body needed some food also at lunch. I used to have it for breakfast and lunch, and then I would let go for dinner, which was fun because I could eat anything and never uh, put on weight. But then little did I know that my body also needed some solid food at lunch. After a while, I developed a problem of pain here, you know, aching here, aching there. I didn't know that it was maybe Herbalife. So I stopped that. And then also when I took the Miami Beach, no, South Beach diet. Yeah, South Beach diet. That one also was great, fantastic. But then only after three weeks then I stopped because your According to me, your body has to come back to normal again, and that is to allow to eat meat, to allow to eat fish, to allow to eat chicken, maybe for two, three days, and then you go back again to your diet. But to stay on the diet all the time, continuously, I don't know, I just disagree. For example, I went on raw food, when was that, since last year. It's fantastic, it's lovely. But then, I cannot eat fruits too much. I cannot, I cannot have too much fruits. So I now um, limit it to uh, breakfast. Even that actually is too much since I have it every day. So uh, great raw food, but I cannot eat raw food every day. That's, that is another one. So you see, diet wise, that's what I do. Dr. Atkins is when you eat protein only and no uh, um, carbohydrates. It was great. But then after like three weeks, I didn't realize that it was on account of that diet that my heart felt like it was going to stop. And I didn't even realize that my body was asking for some carbohydrates and not protein every day. And my heart seemed like it couldn't function. 
normally anymore. I didn't realize my heart made noise like as if you are trying to drag something, you know, drag something heavy. That's how my heart felt, like as if it was being pulled and I didn't realize what it was. And I went to the, to the cardiologist and he couldn't find anything. And then he gave me this pill. And then, of course, common sense tells me if I don't have anything, why do, do I have to take this pill? It was like 60 milli, milli, milliliter. I mean, milliliter. <laughs> what is again? <laughs> so I just cut in four. I told the doctor, can I cut in four? OK, 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 since you don't have a heart problem. But then after three, four days, I realized Common sense again tells me, why don't I just eat solid food? I didn't know that was what my body was uh, uh, asking for. And I started to eat solid food again, uh, carbohydrates. And then suddenly I never had problem anymore with the noise of my heart that was, you know, making, you know, frighteningly so. Only because I was on, on, on protein diet. Not good. So, you know, in the end, the conclusion to me is that in everything you, you do, please apply balance. Please try to reach balance and not going uh, overboard with one type of diet or one type of uh, uh, lifestyle or one type of uh, 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 habit. Try to balance your life because in the end, I, in my humble opinion, that's what helps various being positive yes i am a positive person all the time but not forcefully just calmly and just reasonably stay positive so that's the some of the pointers that i could share with you another thing is this is much more um much more spiritual when i say spiritual meaning that try to connect with nature i don't mean you have to go camping somewhere in the jungle or go you know uh, uh, ups, what do you call abstain from everything that you like doing no i don't mean that when i say night stay connected with nature is try to surrender try to surrender and not having to fight and be so over ambitious or be so ambitious in trying to obtain something in life yes you like to have a beautiful life you like to have a happy life you like to have a dynamic life Okay, that's what you want. You try your best to do that into that direction and then just let it go. Let it go. If, if there are moments for you to add to that, then add. But if there is no other uh, uh, situation where it requires you to fight some more or to add some more, then just leave it. Leave it and forget about it. You know, and that's what frees me from the burden. I have a lot of burden right now because after my husband's demise, demise, you know, I tell you the truth. I never took care of money in my life ever before. Our financial situation never was my domain. I was a simple house wife or a homemaker, which I loved being because I did have a company in the past. I was a guest relations manager of Hilton Hotel. So it's not like I've never been a working girl. But at the same time, I like being a housewife. I like being a homemaker. It's not against my ambition or desire to show people that, hey, I can do this also, you know, I'm just not a housewife. I don't have that fight within me. So I enjoyed being a housewife. But at the same time, you know, uh, you just make the best of whatever is on that 
day. You know, I enjoy decorating a home. I enjoy cooking. I enjoy traveling. I enjoy eating in the restaurant. You know, I enjoy any country. I lived in Saudi Arabia, I enjoyed so much. I lived in, in Singapore, I enjoyed so much. In Los Angeles, enjoyed so much. In uh, Russia, you know, I enjoyed so much. In uh, Thailand, in South Korea, I enjoyed so much because in every country, there is something that is offering you to, to enjoy yourself. And you take that offer. You don't refuse by saying, oh, well, you know, in Italy is like this, you know, but in Indonesia is like this, but you know, in America is like this. No. no, you don't look for what you are accustomed to in your country when you're in another country. You enjoy what that other country offers you that suits your personality and your comfort and your uh, sense of enjoyment. Do that. Do that. That's what I would suggest. So don't visit or live in a country where you look for something that you have at your home in your country. Look for something else that gives you that offer to enjoy. So in every country that I live, I enjoyed every minute of it because every country is different. Every culture is different. It has its pluses and minuses. It has its... Uh, you know, uh, 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 what do you call um, complexities, but it also has its uh, uh, easiness to it. And you see, as you can see, that's my attitude. That's my attitude. I'm not a cynical person. You know, when something is said or told to me, I take it with open arms, I believe it, but of course, use common sense as well. Always use common sense, not just blindly you, you believe because you want to show that you are you a are good-natured person. No, use common sense. Use common sense. But always be open to new things. And if you don't like those new things, then you refuse. That's why it's very important also to have principles within yourself, the things that you would not accept. For example, I would never go with my girlfriend's boyfriends, or I would never go with my girlfriend's husbands. That is, that is no, no, no zone for me. So you have to have principle. Because when you have principle, you respect yourself. And when you respect yourself, you know, you don't, you, you, you know who you are. When you know who you are, then you take good care of yourself. When you take good care of yourself, then of course the, your state of being is so much, so much um, at peace. And I think by being at peace, you stay younger naturally and as a result of it. I'm saying all this in simple language, in simple words, so whoever uh, is listening to or watching my video, they understand. Because actually writing, right, you have to write in the most simple way and not complicated way. So I articulate it in a, in a, in a, in a simple, simple way with simple, simple words so that everyone can understand what I am saying on this video. So that, again, is another tips of how to stay young. Um, follow the, 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 the time. Don't cut yourself out by saying, oh, well, you know, no, no, I don't want to learn that because, you know, I'm too old. Well, I don't want to dress like that because I'm too old. No, if you look good, then you look good. Dress the way you want, not ridiculously, of course. Dress in a decent manner, but in an attractive way, according to your 
look according to the image that you like to give out and um, and have a beautiful lifestyle you know by just making your home beautiful making yourself beautiful um, everything is just so pleasant create that in your everyday life do you know that every morning when i wake up i can't get wait to get up because i'm so excited you know i'm so excited with what's in store in that day and yet if you ask me what are you going to do today nothing <laughs> i don't have some big plans you know uh, uh, lining up on that day but i'm excited and for your inf information i fall asleep easily but in the night Sometimes I resist sleeping because life is just so beautiful in falling asleep because I want to watch, let's say, this. I want to watch that. I want to learn this. I want to learn that. I want to do this and do that. And it's not enough for me 24 hours, you know. Yet I can fall asleep. Other people, they have difficulty in falling asleep. They have to take uh, sleeping pills or they have to take this. They have to meditate. They have to... I don't. I can sleep anytime, especially in the night. But you know what I do all this time? Stay up, force my eyes open every night, almost every night, because I want to watch this. I want to do this. I want to do that. It excites me. Therefore... I think those are the ingredients of what makes me stay young, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea because I can't look at myself from the outside. You should help me, you know, to look at me from the outside because I don't. I, I'm just being who I am and what I am. Another thing is, if you like details, what, what details? Take care of your skin. Uh, make a regular uh, cleansing morning and night uh, when you wake up and before you go to sleep uh, keep your your diet uh, you know healthy not obsessively so do some sport not obsessively so um, Try to take one day at a time. Try to compartmentalize problem when you have problem. Try to compartmentalize that and solve one by one. Not all together you want to put in a heap and you want to solve everything in one go. No. Just little by little, little by little. And learn, learn, learn from your mistakes. And you're still making mistakes and try to see that, oh, okay, this mistake is not making me happy. I'm going to avoid this mistake again, ever again. I will never do this mistake again. So you are going into the healing process of not doing the wrong thing anymore. So you're trying to heal yourself. The most important is you going forward. You don't stay stagnant or you don't go backwards and feeling sorry for yourself and playing a victim and say, why me? I am so blessed. I am so grateful with everything that has been bestowed upon me because I never was ambitious as a person. I never was a goal-oriented person. Never. Never, never, never. Suddenly I found myself living in London. Suddenly I found myself living in Singapore, in Los Angeles, in Italy. You know, where people dream of living in Italy and it just fell on my lap and yet I never dreamt of living in Italy it wasn't in my dream because I'm never obs being obsessive with any desire I like beautiful house I like traveling I like handsome men I like loving men I like a, a faithful man I like men who adore me I like beautiful children or beautiful child. I like, you know, beautiful lifestyle. I like, I'm open to all those, but I'm not obsessive in trying to reach that goal. I want that, I want that. No. Just take one day at a time and make the best out of that day given to you for you to live. 
that's all. It's so simple. It's so, so simple. Life is not complicated. Life is so easy if you just allow it to be. Yes, of course, we, we, part of life is to earn, is to work, but do accordingly. Okay, if at that moment that's what you have to do as your job or as your work or as your responsibility, then do it. Then do it, but don't play a victim. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Just improve. Keep on improving yourself in life. Keep on improving yourself in life. Sometimes, you know, when I see these people, wow, they have this, they have that, but I had all those, you know, and I said,